Howdy everyone, uh, today I will be going over the Arma Commander Custom Battalions. But first I'm going to go over a question that a viewer had on an older video. That question was how to get and simply just have an AI group attack another group. So in order to do that, you want to place down your guys that you're wanting to go and find somebody and fight. So there's two ways you can do this. First way is to uh, do shift, uh, shift right click and just place your move marker. And you can keep it like this. And, <clears throat> and you can have a group here like this. And basically this group will have to look around itself like and it will just run to this location. And they can end up just standing there, look uh, right next to each other, and never fire a shot because they never, they don't look around. Now, if you want them to search this area, which is a hundred meter radius, so like kind of like this general area. And in order to do that, you would open the move marker, select seek and destroy, and hit OK. And so now when this group comes over here, they will be on alert the entire time from, from this point to this point. And even when they get to this point, they'll look around to see if they can find, you know, any hostile forces. Just to show, I'll go hit play. And as I go and move about, they're going to search the general area. They're going to choose the area where where uh, they have the most cover. Last time I tested this, they came over here, but they went over here this time. I'm guessing because this is more of a steeper area, according to the AI. So anyway, right about now, they will start to see it and uh, see this group and and they will start getting to position. Once they, once the majority of the group is in somewhat cover or concealment, they'll open fire. But they will most likely get they uh, AI is a little tricky. But they, and sometimes they'll run to this position, then fire, or they'll find another position, then fire. Like a position where they can hide or whatever in a fire. Which it looks like the AI is being a little special, and they're going to just run to their checkpoint and then fire. <coughs> See? And then that's how you would get... And that is how you get a AI group to attack towards a certain position as i said there's a two different ways you can pull that off so now let's go ahead and get into the army commander custom battalion today. now to set up the custom battalions Find your battalion module, which if you're from my last video, it would be the little eagle. Little eagle thing that we put on the little runway or wherever you put it. <clears throat> Go ahead and open it. We're going to leave everything alone except the type. Which under the type, which under the type, you would go find the custom battalion and hit OK. Now, we can push this all the way up and just out of the way. We don't need it no more. Now, under your systems, modules, go to your Arma Commander. Find Create Custom Battalion. Once you open the Custom Battalion module, just name your faction, which I named as United States Armed Forces. And in order to find the battalion flag and icon, uh, what you would do is you would hit OK, go 
up to the top left and find tools, config viewer, and scroll down through there until you find config markers. And look for the flag that you're wanting to use. In this case, the United States Army. So we'll go ahead and grab the texture. What you would do is you would just click on it, hit Control C, back out of it by hitting Escape, and you would just copy and paste it. Well, you would just paste it into this field. Make sure you get rid of the semicolon and the quotation mark at the end and start. Where, uh, well, the texture equals quotation mark is what you would get rid of. Go back to where you were. Find the icon equals con uh, left control C and, and just pretty much do the exact same thing. And then you would hit OK. Now we will switch over to where we will create the military and our forces that we will have on the battlefield that players can use. Okay, so we're going to build a smaller army. We're going to do one squad, one mechanized unit, one armored, and one aircraft. So to just start out with the start out with the infantry squad. We will just use a normal, uh, just a Marine Corps. Just a Marine Corps unit. Which, there we go. Now, in order to get the, the custom battalion to register, you would go back under the systems, modules, find register battalion group. Now, from there, when you click it, put it on the map. Now, I would typically put it right in, as close as you can to the squad lead, just to keep it a little organized. So, once you place it, go, let's go ahead and open it. Give this group a name, which I'm just going to call it Marine Group. And tooltip, basically what it says when you ho uh, hover your mouse over it. We're going to put Bonds. A squad of marines, side blue four, group infantry. We do not need to mess with the NATO marker. How many points it will cost to get this group? Since it's just a basic marine squad, I'm going to have 15. Count it's how many times the group can be requested or purchased. Since the, it's just a basic group, I'm going to do eight. Skill, I would leave it where it is. Unless you are dealing with a spec op group. If you're doing a spec op group, I would set up just a little higher. If you do one, they will be precise in everything. They will not miss. Um, spawn on parachutes. You, this is kind of a kind of a thing where you can do it or you don't have to. It's up to you. Save modified loadouts. You, you can do this if you want to create your own. But just be uh, weary and cautious. It could have an impact on multiplayer. I personally haven't dealt with it, but doesn't mean you you won't either. Uh, unarmed transport. It's basically for the AI. So we're just going to leave this blank. And obviously they're not unarmed. They are 100% armed. So go ahead and hit OK. Right click on the squad lead. Connect. Think to. And then you would just think this only the squad leader to the registered battalion group. Now that's how you get an infantry squad. Now let's do a motorized infantry squad. Okay, in order to do a motorized squad, go under systems, grab another register battalion group, place it. Once you do that, open the register battalion group, 
So I blew for a group instead of infantry, put it as motorized. You do not have to mess with the NATO marker. Cost, since it's it's a motorized vehicle with a gun, I would do like 45, but that is up to you. Count, I would do like five, but it's up to you. Again, the rest of this is kind of up to you. Uh, spawn on parachutes. Personally, I won't turn that off, but you can leave it on. It will work. And there we go. Now, you uh, once you sync the the squad leader to the module, you can throw everybody into this vehicle. So they will, if you have the parachute option, they will all spawn in this vehicle, and the vehicle will be just paradropped in. If they're all outside of the vehicle, they will, the vehicle will pair drop al alongside the infantry squad. Now onto a a tank. Once you get your tank, grab the commander or whoever is the squad lead of the tank. You want to do the exact same thing as you did with the. You're going to do the exact same thing as you did for the mechanized or motorized. One A one bonds A. There we go. We're going to leave this all alone, except the NATO marker. We're actually going to change into a armored. Uh, group. So, in order to do that, hit OK. Tools. Config viewer. And we're going to go find, under the config marker, you're going to find armor. Icon. Copy the icon. Go back to the register battalion group. Paste it. Remove the semicolon and the quotation mark. Quotation equals icon like that and set the cost which I'm gonna do a hundred go and do like you keep at four nope 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 and that's all good now the the commander or whoever the squad lead is to the register battalion group and boom and for the last thing we're gonna do a helicopter which we will just do a AH1Z. In order to do this, grab the helicopter pilot, register battalion group, open it, leave uh leave the blue four, air, group type air, NATO marker, we're gonna just leave it alone. Pause, let's do 45. Uh, we're just going to leave that alone. Turn off spawn on parachute. This is required. Just to avoid the helicopter imploding upon itself when it spawns. Hit OK. Take the helicopter pilot and sink him up to the, the group. And there you go. There's your army. And we will go ahead and load up the game just to show you guys. When we go into here, you got the United States flag and the US flag right there. And we can go ahead and spawn a marine group, a mechanized group. You know what? Sure, let's spawn another marine group. And now you can see that there is now two marine groups spawned in our area. And there's our mechanized vehicle. Now we we shall play until we can get uh just spawn the tanks. Here's a helicopter. Just show the helicopter works.
And there we go. We have our tank. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was very helpful. And if it was, please drop a like. And if you got any other questions, drop a comment. If you would like to see more videos like this and you have any other questions, please drop it down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all and have a good night.